Hey, what's up, Saltwater Nation? This is Greg coming at you live from the saltwateraquarium.com warehouse. We're hanging out with Ike from Current USA today. Ike is going to be doing an install of their brand new fun stuff, the Serene LED kit. He's gonna be putting it on this fabulous tank that we picked up here. Put together an aluminum stand, Ken and I the other day, and checking some stuff out. Not only is Ike doing an install for us and going to talk us through and walk us through the finer points of the Serene system, we're also going to give one away to you folks. Somebody from the comment section, once this is all done and over, we're going to pick somebody at random. Like, comment, share, ask us questions, tell us a joke, I don't care, give us some stuff. We are going to pick somebody at random from the comments to win... What's in the box here? Now, what size is this, Ike, that we're putting on? This is a 48 inch. 48, and they come in 24, 36, 36 48, and 72. Yep. And you can pick your size, and yeah, just comment away. You know, emojis, talk to us, ask us questions. The more stuff we've got to talk about with you, you know, the more interactive our live stream is. So, Ike, whenever you're ready, bud, take right. it away. So, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing here of the unit. Mike Wilkshire is down with free stuff, Ike. Right on. Well. James Hildebrand, hey, did miss you at back now this year, buddy? Hope you can make next year's. How's it going? Okay. All right. So we're gonna unbox it first. We're gonna see, yeah, what's in the box here? So these are the clips for the background light. This is the main serene light. This is the background material that we're gonna put on this aquarium. And here are the speakers for the audio, the 12 volt power transformer. And inside here is the magic. This is the loop controller, the remote control, and we have a little remote IR sensor if you want it. And here's what we're going to be installing today, which is the background light. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in this box. But once it's all set and once you know it's explained as to what the heck Serene is, it, it's pretty darn cool. We just saw uh, and hung out a little bit with Ike at uh, Aquatic Experience yep. out in uh, New York. Well, not New York, quite almost New York. We were in the Meadowlands out there in Jersey. Um, as you're unboxing things, getting stuff to here, what is Serene, Ike? I mean, what's the whole point of all this cool stuff coming out of the box? So, uh, Serene's a new fresh water light, uh, and it's a little different than most lights because uh, we combine over the tank lighting as well as background lighting, uh, and that helps with some chromotherapy or color therapy, we'll talk about it, but uh, it really makes the back of your tank just look incredible. And uh, we also have integrated audio and we're really big with the binaural audio. Uh, at the uh, show this weekend, it was super popular. Uh, yeah, we your had booth on, was packed, yeah, yeah we, we came by. People really got into the background lighting and the audio. Uh, so it was great to hear, get people's feedback. Um, you know, the, the Aquatic Experience, fantastic show. It's always great to be around uh, passionate hobbyists and there were plenty of passionate fish keepers at the show. Awesome. Hey, speaking of passionate fish folks, we got 54 folks watching live right now. Make sure you are, 56, make sure you are commenting, liking, sharing, say stuff, ask us questions, give a shout out. Because again, from these comments, I'm going to go through after the live stream. We are picking one winner. Somebody's getting to pick one winner to win whatever size serene you want. Um, now, Ike, you were saying it's fresh water. Is it at all possible to maybe adapt it for salt? We got saltwater folks watching here on saltwateraquarium.com. Oh, you, uh, you could use this, but the spectrum of the LEDs in the gotcha. main light are yeah, real light. Yeah, that's what I figured. So uh, what we're gonna really show today are uh, is the background light, how it attaches in the background material. This weekend at Aquatic Experience, that was by far the most popular question. Uh, a lot of hobbyists, obviously, they stopped by, saw it, they wanted to know what it was, but a lot of them were, um, I don't want to say confused, but they were just very curious about, how, how do I put this on my aquarium? 
And the tank that we had at the show was a rimless aquarium. It was a little more high-end, planted with Starfire. And today we're going to put it on a framed aquarium. And uh, I just, you know, it'll be something good for everyone to see uh, how you install it, how easy it is to use. So uh, the background material itself, uh, I know a lot of people at the show thought we had either spray painted or sandblasted the back of the aquarium. We actually had this material made for us. Uh, it's very similar to uh, what you may buy at a hardware store for uh, making your glass, privacy glass. Uh, but it's a little different. One of the things we did was we put the material, if you want to get a little bit of a close yeah. up here. So the material actually has a clear backing. And a lot of times when you buy it in a store, it has a white back with lines on it. And those lines are to give you some direction for cutting. But we wanted to clear because we know that a lot of hobbyists, when they're setting their aquarium up or using this, they may not have the room that you have in the back of the tank. It may already be filled. So we're actually going to put this on an easy way, which is just using uh, typical clear tape. But uh, you can electrostatically cling this to the aquarium like you would professional. The other thing we did was if you get, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on here, but uh, we had uh, it proprietarily made. We had some uh, a small amount of sparkle put in it. And yeah, the it's like a nice little grain to it. Yeah, and it reflects light and spreads it a lot more. So we wanted to get a really good even spread with the background lighting. That's very cool. Hey, 82 folks watching right now, like, comment, share. Tell us your thoughts. Give us your questions. We are picking a winner for a serene LED kit system of your size of choosing. At the end of this, we're going to go through comments. We are going to pick somebody to win. James? 92 people out there. Come on, man. Tell us some stuff. Give us somebody to pick from. James was wondering. He said he was waiting for a company to do this. Why did you decide to go into the backgrounds? Uh, the background lighting we had done... Wow, four or five years ago, uh, you know, the, the chroma therapy or color therapy is really popular now. Philips is doing it for your home, and I've seen light panels that you get for the walls. And, uh, you know, the, you've got this big open back on your aquarium. Why not color it up and color the fish up with it? So uh, we, uh, you know, have been playing with this for a few years. The audio is usually the more... Why did we come up? That with was the pretty audio? cool. The audio that yeah, you had yeah. the Bluetooth headphones set up at so, the show. To be honest with you, the we had the aquarium set up and we were doing video with the background lighting. And at the time, we were streaming a Sonos system, and we were listening to binaural beats or just nature music to feel like we were in a public aquarium. And after two days of running this stuff, when we turned it off, we were like, oh, the aquarium experience isn't the same without the audio. So that's when we uh, began to integrate the audio part of it. Jacqueline, yes. Uh, Jacqueline Bishop has a question. Yeah, it does change colors. You're yep. able to set a bunch of different things. There's a bunch of themes. I know that we saw when we were at Aquatic Experience with Ike that yep. he was setting up. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can have some presets. You can play with it, sit there live. A lot of different things. We're going to get it all hooked up here. Yep. Everything but sound today, we're going to get hooked up. We'll do sound, uh, especially if you want to hear and see it. You know, we'll figure it out. We can do a follow-up live stream to that later. But today is going to be all about the background, uh, that background and overhead light. So, uh... If you have an aquarium and it's already up against the wall, uh, what we recommend people do is you basically measure uh, the distance uh, you know, from inside the frame or the back of the aquarium and the length and cut it beforehand. We're gonna go ahead and tape this up on the back. Like I said, it does have a, a clear back and you can peel this off. So if you were to have the room to put it on, you basically take some water, you spray it on the back of the aquarium you peel this off and it will electrostatically cling to the aquarium and give it just a really good solid uh, feel. But for this aquarium, we're gonna set it up with the frame and uh, we're just gonna actually, you take the textured side of it and we're gonna put it on the back using simple scotch tape. Awesome. Um, somebody asked about the sounds and things. Uh, can you stream music or is it just the Serene Systems nature effects and music. Right now it's just the Serene uh, sound uh, programs that we have. Uh, we have four files on there. Uh, two are uh, nature, two are actually binaural. So when you listen to them, your ears pick the tones up differently. But in the future, we are going to have an upgrade to the controller that allows you to stream 
uh, and switch out audio as you see fit. James uh, wants to know if they get light music, can we dose vodka so they can have a party? They probably could. Uh, surprisingly, at, at Aquatic Experience, ACDC must be very popular here because a lot of people said, hey, can I stream my ACDC? Uh, and I said, sure, you, you'll be able to do that uh, this summer. It wasn't the intent of it, but uh, next year you'll be able to do that. All right, so we're going to fit this on here. So, so I'm just holding a camera. Do you need an extra hand, or is this a one-person job? I, no, mean, I got it. So on a framed aquarium, we recommend putting it below here. That way, if you do get any water drippage, it's dripping down here. Um, and I'm just going to tape this over here for now. And then I'm going to cut this excess off. So you can see this is a four foot tank and a four foot light. And we have a lot of extra material here. We included extra material because the light has the docking mounts that allow it to work to a 60 inch tank. So we actually include uh, like 61 inches of background material with it. So just like uh, any standard current light, so 24 to 36, 36 yep. to 48, 48 to 60. Exactly. 70, one and done big boy. Just using, you know, uh, I'll come around that side. clear tape. And then basically, you know, it's probably best with a uh, an X-Acto knife, but we're gonna cut the material and you just come along the back here. You can see, you know. That's just cut. Yep. And you wanna remember too, that if you go just a little bit shorter, you're gonna, your gravel's gonna cover that portion of it up. It's not gonna see it. Um, and then you just, you know, tape it on. So I'm just gonna trim this and tape that. So you can see it gives it a nice even look when, uh, you know, it does look better when you don't have a lot of cables and stuff. So uh, with the serene canister filters usually work best. You can get the hoses up. Trim this here. Well, that's just hanging. Uh, did you have it, the uh, the electric static, did you have that like that or was it taped at Aquatic Experience? No, well at Aquatic Experience in the display tank we actually had it uh, uh, put on with the electrostatic. So that's just a little bit of water, right? That's all you're doing? Yeah, you just use a little bit of water and then um, actually you can probably get it here at saltwateraquarium.com, but uh, they do have a uh, material, I think it's called Sea View yeah. uh, for backgrounds. Uh, and that stuff works well. You can mix it in with the water, but you just uh, basically mix it in with the water, put it on, and then you take a piece of uh, or like a credit card or something flat, iron out those bubbles and you're good to go. Nice. So usually to clean the edge up, we'll do that at the very end. I would take a like a like an exacto blade, uh, yeah, and trim and it up and trim it up just to clean it up. Um, but that's really uh, in terms of putting the background material on, that's it. Uh, you between the two methods, you honestly, I haven't seen a difference. Uh, at, you know, if you're real close up, especially on a rimless tank, you'll be able to see maybe a couple bubbles in here. But with this. You're not going to be able to tell the difference. It works just great the way it is. Nice. So we did have a lot of questions also on how you mount the background light. And at the show, the background light was pre-mounted. So this is a great way to show you guys kind of how it mounts. If you don't have a lot of room, the background light comes with suction cups. Nice. And if you want, you can just basically wet them and if you have a frame tank they work great you just suction cup it onto the tank rotate it up installs done done right so it's it's super easy if you have a frame tank the suction cups don't stick well to the background material and when we were playing around with it one of the things we found is when you do get it close like this it's a very intense light Right here in the right center. Right there, it's got a hot spot. Yeah, you get a hot spot. So to alleviate the hot spots, we came up with these small clips. They're mounting clips. Right. And the ideal distance from behind the aquarium is about two inches, so it's this last clip. So what you can do 
is not use the suction cups. And you take these clips, you take the suction cup off, you snap it onto here, rotate it, and then we're gonna put these clips you can put them on here if you have some type of stand that um, you know might be difficult to get to. Are they the, drillable? Are they sticking? Or are they going? They up? are. So they have four little holes. If mm -hmm. you have a cabinet, a wood cabinet, and you have the room, you can get back here and, and drill them on. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll just snap the background light right into it. Okay. Uh, but uh, as you said earlier, this is an aluminum stand. So, and we also wanted to make it easy that if you've already got the tank set up and you don't have the room like we do here, how do you get this thing back there? So, we included some 3M adhesive. There you go, nice and easy. And it makes it very easy. And this 3M adhesive we use on LEDs as well. Uh, it, it's solid, it works really, really well in terms of uh, getting them on here and, and keeping them on here. So we'll put two of these on. And by putting it a little bit more towards the back and a little bit down, it does blend the light really, really well. That was the position we had them at at the show. Cat's really liking this, says that uh, acrylic is nothing on this system. I used to paint all my tanks black until this came out. So here's a cool new idea for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thumbs up and hearts blowing up the side of this live stream on my phone here, watching on video. Very nice. Again, like, comment, share, folks. Ask us questions. Throw something out. Somebody from comments is going to be chosen at complete random uh, so that we can give away a serene system of your choosing for size. Again, 24 to 36, 36 to 48, 48 to 60, or if you really want it, you got it. Hey, we'll ship you that 72. One winner. Going to be one winner. Almost done? Yeah, almost. We've got one nice. more clip to put on. As you can see there. It's a couple inches out off the back, yeah, because that's one thing I was thinking when you stuck it right there with those uh, the suction cups, because I do a lot of theater things. Right. And yeah, I mean, you, you can get hot spots real easy if your lights are on it all wrong. And, yeah. and it's not, you know, it's not over it. It's down the back along the back side, so it's something different, you know. And like the trial and error, you guys will find out you've had this, you had that. You got a problem solved when you got new products. This is a great new product. Again, aquatic experience. That Your booth was just packed. There were just folks from all walks of life hanging out, just really seeming to enjoy it. And yeah, I mean, it, it looked fantastic, the display. James has a question, can you mount the light at the top? Yes, so with these suction cups, there's absolutely no reason you can't mount it up here and you'll get that light down here. Uh, the other cool thing, and to be honest with you, we, we just, it's one of those things we haven't had time to experiment with is, the Serene background light is completely waterproof, it's submersible. So if this aquarium had a glass top on it and you didn't have a lot of room back here and you wanted to do some unique settings, you could basically put this guy in and suction cup it right to the underneath the aquarium uh, and it'll go right to the glass top and then angle it so that it's basically facing down. Facing down. Um, you don't get as much of a, a, a spread, like the water will focus it a little bit more, but we noticed if you had like a uh, plants back here they looked amazing uh, and there's no reason why you know even if you had like a, a black background and you didn't want to use the background material we've had these for African cichlids where you have a main white light and you're using this just to enhance the colors someone was just asking like oh it won't work with my black background so yeah, there you go you just yeah, heard it black background it a, is still gonna work man yeah and if you shine it towards the back you'll get a little bit more reflection so we recommend just spreading the light down but when it's a solid red or a solid blue the colors of the fish are just amazing so we're gonna clip this on here and we did have some people ask as well um, why is the light not the entire length of the tank? And uh, when you have it on the tank like this, we wanted to make it so that the light was sort of like a, I don't know, half of a sun. Uh, and uh, you don't want too much light ambient coming out. Yeah. And if you went all the way to the edge, you'd have light just spread out too yeah. far. Um, so we're going to, in terms of the background light and material, that's all there is to the installation here, ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna plug it into a controller and we'll fire it up. Awesome. The mounting supplies are gonna look rock star inside that tank with the lights on. <laughs> all right, 
right, like, as you're sitting here getting ready, what brought you down this way here today, anyway, besides just coming to hang out uh, with us? I was down here for aquatic experience, and, uh, well, I was up for aquatic experience, New York, uh, and I actually grew up in Harrisburg here, uh, so this is kind of my hometown, Gettysburg, a little, a little bit further south. Uh, yesterday, I was at Penn State with uh, Sanjay Joshi, or Dr. Joshi, installing his aquarium. Uh, I got to meet the local deer population uh, with my car. <laughs> Rental car zero, local yeah. deer one. Uh, so, uh, um, yeah, it's great to come home, uh, see family, be around. It's a little cold here compared to San Diego, but uh, it was a great show. I, I, you know, great time to meet some passionate hobbyists. Can it be used on a refugium? It could be, especially the, uh, uh, the background light. Yeah. You could definitely have the main light on, uh, you know, on your tank and have the refugium. You know, I don't know of anybody who does it, but if you had a tank underneath with a or display refugium, yeah, a display, absolutely, you could use it for that. You can use it for just about anything. Are there other mounting options? As an aquarium service company, I avoid suction cups at all costs. Again, those those mounts that pulled off the back, yeah, it's it's got the screw yeah. holes. You so you are screw holes, yeah the three M. Uh, but uh, we've actually screwed it directly into the stand. It makes it solid. But this 3M adhesive we use for uh, for LEDs, and it, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, so we got the 3M adhesive. You got screws. You got suction cups. Uh, Jackie, yes, good for freshwater plants. This is designed for freshwater tanks. Yeah, if you're joining us a little bit late, this is the new Serene LED kit from Current USA. So again, Ike's over there putting on. He's got the background light going that I just turned away from. There's a top light. It's got speakers. It's got this cool film. Bring it to the back. Ken, do you want to kill the light? I'm going to in a minute. You want right. to now? I might as well just show folks what we got to start. Yep, so you can see the background light. Uh, I've got it right now in a uh, uh, red fade mode. And uh, we did get some hobbyists who asked questions about the the different colors and we did put a little bit of uh, science behind the color fades that we chose. So when you see a solid color like this, uh, it actually uses uh, what's called chromotherapy or color therapy. And uh, you'll notice that uh, when you go to a restaurant or a spa or a lot of places of business or even like a hospital or uh, that the walls will be painted a certain color or they'll have certain color lights and they're to elicit a certain mood in your body or make you feel a certain way. So for example, this is a red orange fade on the remote and red is very attention getting and I will tell you at the show, red was the color. Whenever I had the background on red, people went crazy. So this is a very, it's a red orange fade and red is attention getting, uh, but it also increases your appetite. So if you think about like a, um, when you go on a picnic, the uh, tablecloth that you're using is usually red checkerboard. Red makes you hungry, uh, and the orange is uh, a little bit about relaxation, but it's also energy. It's the color of the sun. So you're mixing, uh, you know, an attention-getting, uh, energetic color, and it just fades gently back and forth. And one thing I'll say real quick, just to interrupt, sorry. Um, the light definitely is looking different in person than what I'm seeing here on camera. I'm not sure how it's looking on the live feed, but it's definitely more of a solid color. Like uh, what I see here on my end of the camera, it's got that real, almost a, a white bright hot spot. That is definitely not happening here in person with it. It might just be the, the camera settings and all. Yeah, but, and we can move And like that. this is super bright looking here too, but I mean, it is a, it is a beautiful red uh, here in person. It's glowing real nice. It's it, yeah, the camera's definitely giving me an odd hot spot. How we were talking how it do, how it's not going to look like that. Yeah, that's just what's going on here on the camera. It's definitely not right, got that hot spot it's happening. It's dark up in here too. Yeah. Uh, you want light? So you can turn the light on yet yeah, until we get the next set of it going. Yeah, and then we did a a blue green fade. So if you're in a uh, your home office or uh, even at your work office, the uh, blue is focus uh, and green is is creativity. Uh, get your mind going. Um, the blue green fade is also very popular for spas and stuff. Uh, okay. Turn the lights oh, back on. Turn the lights back on. Yeah, just so yeah. you see the color right on. difference. Right on. So you can see that that like, you know, it's going to a blue and it'll go into a very aqua greenish, uh, and it's a great just color enhancing uh, color fade. Uh, light in a dark room here. I'll see if I can show. Yeah, it's definitely we got a blue light up top. There was a red light up top. So yeah, it is affecting the light here in the room and what you see. Yes. You're definitely affecting the car. I mean, you know, it's 
it's not a super bright lamp light in the room, but I mean, if it's dark and it's the only thing on, yeah, I mean, it, it will change the entire ambiance of your room. Yeah, and you can, if it's too bright, I can fade it a little bit. So I'm not sure how the fade, if it looks better on the camera or not. It, it actually does look a little bit better, okay, the fade. Okay, so you can fade it down if you don't want the effect so strong. Um, so we do have those specialized fades. Uh, we also have a blue-orange that's actually to inhibit uh, if you're on a diet, that's the colors you want to fade through. Uh, and you can also choose a solid color if you want. So uh, I can press the RGB color fade mode, and this will gently fade through red, green, and blue. And if I say, wow, I really like this yellow color, you can actually stop it and save it in a memory. And then that's your, your solid color. And you can run this through the day or use it on demand whenever you like. Nice. So I got the main light on and I'm going to see our uh, color difference here. So this is obviously at full power and I'm going to dim this guy down a little bit. I can start through some different colors there. Yeah, you can choose any color you like. Usually uh, what we have found so far for photography is if the, the main light, if you uh, dim the blue, green, and red down to about 15% and then keep the blues around 30 to 40, or the white at 30 to 40, that it shows up great on the camera. Someone said future, uh, actually a really nice idea, uh, a future update to it, maybe make it an app yeah, or work along, with, or work along with your Bluetooth do, module? We are going to do a Bluetooth. Uh, it's actually going to be compatible with the loop system. So. Uh, if you're an existing uh, loop hobbyist or uh, um, you want to do Bluetooth, in spring we'll have an update that you'll be able to use a loop controller with the lights. Uh, you'll be able to use the loop app. One of the reasons, especially with this light, that we didn't start with Bluetooth was this is a lot about relaxation. Uh, it's a lot about enjoying your aquarium. And uh, we are uh, marketing a lot of these to uh, new hobbyists who Maybe you have a business and we're using them in uh, either rehabilitation facilities or hospitals where uh, they don't want a lot of stuff on the Wi-Fi, but when you're uh, sort of immersed in your aquarium, a lot of people don't want their phones on. They want to just chill, have a glass of wine, enjoy their tank, and they want to shut their phones off, but they still want to be able to enjoy the effects. So that's one of the reasons we started with IR is that this really is more about a, enjoying your aquarium experience and to enjoy it a lot of times i know you just got to turn your phone off and uh, not get the texts and the emails but you still want to enjoy the color fades and everything yeah nice yeah james keeps commenting is open source what a share setting sounds combos yeah i mean it, it's an idea I, I, we haven't uh, agreed on the, or decided on the open source yet but i will tell you that at aquatic experience for sure the audio is, uh, it sounds uh, crazy to a lot of people, but when they heard that the audio is very tasteful, it's about uh, immersing yourself and imagining you're where these fish come from. So, uh, for example, the forest, the forest was taken in a forest in Ecuador. I actually took it. Uh, the, uh, the, the approaching storm, it's not about flashing lightning and thunder effects. It's about listening to a storm off of, a, or on a plane off of Lake Tanganyika. And these are authentic audio sounds, and they're very tasteful. And with the Bluetooth, what we will, uh, we want hobbyists to do is to be able to take their own audio when they go on a trip and be able to take their own audio sounds. And when they come back, say, this is what color I want, and I want to be able to listen to this so that when you see your aquarium, you can imagine where you were. Yeah, nice. And again, this does come with a set of the Serene Bluetooth yeah. speakers. Well, if they're Serene seat speakers. Uh, I'm sorry, not they, Bluetooth. Yeah, they plug them in. And uh, at the show, uh, you can basically plug the Serene controller into any type of speaker. It does have an audio output. Uh, we include these, uh, usually you mount them on the back of the stands. Um, but what we're finding is a lot of people are using Bluetooth. So uh, you can just connect a simple Bluetooth transmitter and... How about like uh, Alexa, an Echo Dot kind of thing? Uh, it, I don't, we haven't honestly tried it with Alexa, um, but I do know, like I said, that we've connected it with a Bluetooth transmitter and connected it to like a home audio system or to just headphones if you've got some really nice headphones you want to nice. listen to.
Nice, very cool. Again, folks, like, comment, share, say something. Uh, this has been a nice long live stream, really informative, getting all set here from Ike from Current USA. Uh, somebody's going to win one of these. They come in 2436, 3648, 4860, and a 70. We're giving one away to one person. We're going to choose at random here from the live stream. Uh, but someone has a good question. How the heck much are these? How much are, what are they running? Uh... That's a good question. Top of your I head? Go to saltwaterfarm.com. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I believe the four foot system is around $230. Uh, you, you guys would know better. The uh, And that's for the light, the background light, the background kit, the audio, the speakers, everything. Nice. Uh, we really wanted the first system to be as complete as possible that you didn't have to go to the store and get stuff for it. Uh, it's one of the reasons we included the speakers. Uh, but we will be selling the background lights separately. They'll be available here in a month. Uh, and then eventually we'll have the whole aquarium as well for sale. Awesome. Very cool. Look at that guy. All right. Want to look at something now? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We're very right. good. Thanks right. for joining. Let's away. Oh, all right. Well, Ken, uh, the boss has been following along as and going through, and he wants me to give it away live here. So uh, thanks for all the like, comment, shares. There's been a whole bunch, and it seems that James Gilmore has been making the most comments. Uh, he's our open source guy. James, you just won yourself a Serene LED kit. Um, we're going to contact you here through Facebook, and we'll get your info to ship you the size of your choosing. So, very cool. Ike, thank you so much for thank coming out guys. to Gettysburg today to hang out with us and set up this super cool new lighting system. Available now at saltwateraquarium.com. Later, Saltwater Nation. James says whoop whoop. <laughs> Thanks, James.